and it takes you on a journey. Heartbreak, laughter, fresh starts. It is called Lauren Weedman Doesn't Live Here Anymore. And I am joined this morning by Lauren Weedman herself. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. So viewers might recognize you. The Daily Show, HBO, the newest season of Arrested Development. Oh. But you used to live here in Seattle, which yes. is kind of an appropriate name now for your one-woman show. Yes, sometimes things work out in life for me. There's a few weekends where everything's been just right. Um, yeah, I did used to live here in like 95 to 2000. Okay. The golden years. Yeah, I mean, that, I guess a lot of people would say that. I mean, what's it like being back here? I mean, the city's so different now. I cannot tell you how much time I've spent sp like talking about that because people are like, what do you think about what's happening? Have you seen South Lake Union? Oh, like, really? Everyone's like, you've seen what's happened to our city. And I'm like, I know. And it's, it's kind of exciting to me because it yeah. does seem like, you know, I'm not opposed to things having forward motion. Right. So there's that. And yet there's also like, I never know where I am. I'm always like, I think I'm in Fremont. I'm like, oh God, no, I'm in Queen. No, I'm not. I'm like, it's the, my, the landmarks. It's, I mean, you know, the troll is still where it's supposed to be. Thank goodness. He Hopefully is, right? they're not going to move that anytime okay. soon. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Um, so we do want to talk about your one woman show. Um, I was just saying during the break, I think it's amazing that you're doing this because it sounds anxiety inducing. I mean, yes. you were up there all by yourself and you've put together this amazing, funny show. It's, and as I was saying, like, I just, you find a certain way to, to make your, your um, to cash in on your mental illness or whatever. It's not, I mean, I'm not like diagnosed, but um, I, I don't find it, I, Working with other people, that to me must be an awful to have to look around and have to deal with somebody else. Right? I mean, you're fine. I like you. Oh, that's um, yeah, thank but there's, you. But I mean, I've been in shows with other people and like the, oh, the right. dramas of, of other, that to me sometimes is more exhausting. When you're by yourself, you have no one to blame. Right. You can't go true. off stage and be like, oh my God, you gave me nothing tonight. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's always a good just, point. So you're just like depending that. on yourself. Yes, I do like that. So what we're looking at here is you're sort of tapping into your alter ego, Tammy Lisa. Right. Talk a little bit about Tammy Lisa and how she helps tell your story. Um, I, I can't, I don't want to talk about the show at all. I'm okay. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> well, it's great having you here. I'm just kidding. Thank I'm just you. trying to think, no. what, what can I do to be just awful and shocking? Just like, I'm not here. I'm here to have a message about thyroid disease. Like, like what is she talking about now? <laughs> She's no, Oscar. Um, exactly. No, the show, so when I was, um, I was, I'm adopted and I, when I was born, apparently my birth mother and birth father were both allowed to pick a name for me. They've told, I, I know them now, but they, um, and they, my birth father chose Tammy and my birth mother chose Lisa. Now they weren't together because they were pretty young, but the idea that I would, if I would have been kept by them, I would have been Tammy Lisa. And also from West Virginia, it, this has always been kind of lurking in my life. Oh. And that I have this sort of, all, that's, you know, there's times where I'm like, you know, mad about, cause I'm like, hey, you guys, we gotta soak our nacho plate before we go to bed at night. Otherwise I'm gonna be scraping cheese all day long. I'm like, oh, that's so Tammy Lisa. <laughs> scraping nacho cheese off a plate. Nothing's wrong with that. It's just a very, um, if anyone's scraping cheese off a nacho plate right now, I hope you don't feel judged. Hey, well, we've, we've all been <laughs> in that close. situation. Sure, you got to soak it. Oh, you gotta soak yeah, it, or totally. else it's going to stick. For, you'll never get it off. Oh, my God, yes. You'll never oh, get it off. See? Finally, oh, yeah. to talk to. Um, yeah, so that's, so I use her in the show a bit um, to sort of tell the rougher parts of my life. Yeah. The, the divorce I went through, which is hilarious, um, and stuff like that. But I mean, you're talking about painful things, but I think a lot of things that maybe people can really relate to. And sometimes to get through things, you have to kind of laugh to keep from crying. Yes, or you do both at the same time and just like, right. you know, watch the crowd really scatter. Really good at that. Like, oh. <laughs> you're super uncomfortable. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've, I mean, comedy is what I do, but I, I also like to have story. I want to have something that kind of, I want some meaning. I want stuff to matter in some way. Not that comedy, and it's, God, I'm so Seattle, right? I don't want to offend anybody. I'm like, I want, uh, I'm not a stand up. No, there's nothing wrong with stand ups. You know, like, I hope you guys are okay if you're a stand-up who's scraping nacho cheese off a plate. Um, but yeah, I tried it. There is comedy in it. It is about sort of like a, a sort of midlife crisis, depression, yeah. and things falling apart. Um, and yeah, there's, I, I, I mean, it wasn't hilarious at the time, but it's been fun doing it now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it makes a great story. Yeah, it does, that's right? That's for sure. I yeah. mean, you can look back and say, look at everything that's happened here. Yes, yes, for sure. Well, thank you so much for coming in here. And make sure you check out the performance. Um, again, uh, Lauren Weedman doesn't live here anymore. Sadly. Because she doesn't. It's at the ACT Theater through August. 12th, you can visit acttheater.org. Oh, drinky, drinky. I know, it's been a long morning. Sure. Acttheater.org for tickets. Again, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm so glad to be in Seattle. It's good to have you. Thank you. Even though you no longer live here anymore. Well, stop and saying it's so depressing. <laughs> Wait, we'll welcome you back. Thank well, you. I saw.